Howdy y'all, <clears throat> this is my review of my Bear Creek Arsenal Upper. It's chambered in 12.7 by 42, otherwise known as 50 Beowulf. Of course, Bear Creek Arsenal cannot call it 50 Beowulf because Alexander Arms, aka the owner Bill Alexander, has some sort of a patent on that name. But it does shoot 50 Beowulf. Um, I have it on a Stag Arms. Uh, lower stag 15 lower uh, I've had the lower for for a while now it came there's the upper that came with my lower uh, it's a uh, stag model 8 piston driven but that's a different video so anyways uh, weapon has been safety checked there's there's nothing in there okay no magazine in it um, big shout out first of all to uh, YouTube channel Buffaloes Outdoors um, he was kind of my inspiration for picking one of these side charging, uh, uppers up in 50 Bay Wolf, uh, great videos. So thanks again. Um, this thing is really a home run. Um, I want to say I paid for this. I got free shipping on it. Um, they had it on sale. I think it was about like $253 out the door with free shipping, um, which really is quite a steal. Um, the only thing that you have to really do with these is you want to make sure that you have a magazine that will function. Well, I actually have three. One that I did is, this is a regular GI mag, and what I did is I modified it. You can see on the front there, I dremeled out the front, made it just a little bigger, and I put in a Magpul uh, anti-tilt follower. And by doing that, it overall ran pretty good. Um, I had two... Two magazines full of this that'll hold 10 rounds, roughly. Um, I generally only loaded three to four in here because I was sighting it in. And I had two magfuls where it did not feed on the last round. That is not a fault of the upper in any way. That's a magazine issue. I did, however, have these hex mags. And hex mag, uh, a lot of people claim that of course, you see it does have a little bit bigger uh, lip there at the front, a little more clearance. Uh, they'll claim that these will cycle 50 Beowulf, uh, 450 Bushmaster, and 458 SOCOM, no problem. Um, that is the truth. This thing cycled perfectly. I had no issues with this magazine at all. And then I also picked up one of these magazines. These are the magazines, if you buy a 50 Beowulf upper from Alexander Arms, uh, they usually will sell these as well. These are the ones that, that are made for Alexander Arms, I believe. It's by Elander. Uh, 50 Bay Wolf, they stamp it on there, made in Israel. Um, this magazine is another one. I had no failures to feed, nothing. Um, this one for the first two times, this one I made, it did work, but it chewed up the brass a little bit. And uh, I'm not going to show you the brass, but it, you can see where it kind of chewed it up. It's not too bad. It could probably be reloaded, but I'm not going to. Um... Overall, this thing is great with accuracy. Um, I had an EOTech 512 on my regular upper. Took that off. I put a Ronin model uh, P10 on my regular 556 upper and ended up putting the EOTech on here. I'm sure the Ronin would be okay, but I wanted something that, you know, had a nice rectal. Um, this is, this is going to be my deer rig right here, this upper. Um, I'm in Ohio, and of course, Ohio, you are allowed to have straight walled calibers, a minimum of 357 uh, to a maximum of 50 caliber in rifles now for deer. They've had that for the last couple years. So I wanted something that would be rugged enough for the outdoors, you know, cold weather, rainy weather, um, can handle the recoil, which honestly the recoil on this thing really isn't too bad. Um, the muzzle brake that they put on here, um, I guess you could call it a muzzle brake. I mean, it looks just kind of like a, a spherical flash hider to me. Um, but the muzzle rise really isn't all that bad. Um, recoil, honestly, I'd say it kicked more or less kind of like a, a 20 gauge slug is the best way that I could, could uh, compare the recoil to. And uh, very comfortable to shoot. Not bad at all. Um, as far as accuracy goes, this thing, out of the box, crazy accurate. I got it. Probably three or four days later, went out to my local outdoor range and went to sight it in, went to 100 yards. Well, here's the target. My first shot, right here at the bottom. Came up, second group, 
shot four. This was my third group. And then I just raised it a few more clicks because I wanted it a little high at 100 because I want to be maximum point blank range. I want to be about 150 yards for, for deer. So, yeah, um, I'm impressed. For $253 with free shipping, this thing is awesome. Um, the action feels great. The chamber looks fine. I didn't notice any burrs on the inside. Um, I really like the side charging. That is a really cool feature. Um, it's kind of weird though, you know, because I'm used to, of course, regular AR style rifles. You got your rear charging handle. Well, with this in the side, it's 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 cool because you know you've got that big 50 caliber round and you're side charging it. You know, it just makes you feel like you've got this big big caliber in your hands, which for the most part you do. And it's just it's a really really awesome product uh bear creek arsenal i'm not sure how long they've been in business i know it hasn't been for very long um but their product this is the first upper i've got from them i'm probably going to buy another upper from them i'm looking at maybe a seven and a half or a ten and a half uh to build an ar pistol and not sure i might do five five six or i might do you know something like seven six two thirty nine or three hundred blackout something crazy like that but really want an ar pistol they're probably the ones i'm going to go to because their quality control you know, I love this M-Lock rail system. Very, very clean, clean lines. I don't see any flaws, no scratches on the barrel. When this thing came to me, no blemishes whatsoever. Great, great product. I'm very, very impressed with these guys. So, highly recommend them. Um, another shout-out channel, uh, 704 Tactical. He reviews a lot of Bear Creek Arsenal things. Um, if I'm not mistaken, they still should have a coupon going on for 704 Tactical and Buffalo's Outdoors. Um, if you go to their channels, they give you 5% off. I know Buffalo's had 5% off on this particular upper with free shipping. Uh, so that's the deal that I got on this. And um, I got it within, I'd say, probably about a week after I ordered it. I ordered it on a weekend, and I want to say I got it, because uh, see, I ordered it on a Saturday, and I believe it came on a Thursday, that next Thursday. So shipping was pretty quick. I was very impressed. Um, but definitely, definitely, if you guys are looking for, you know, an inexpensive upper for, you know, maybe you live in a state like Ohio or, or Indiana or southern Michigan where you have to use straight walled and rifles for deer, if you're looking for something like a 50 Baywolf, 450 Bushmaster, something along those lines, or you just want to build a cheap, uh, not really cheaply made, but inexpensive cheap uh, AR, and you want to do a good upper, their uppers, from what I've seen reviews-wise, and now this one, it's, you know, proof is in the pudding. They build great stuff for a really, really good deal. So check them out. BearCreekArsenal.com, great product. Love them.